Hi everybody, um, I just want to do a really quick product review um, and pro product test really. So this is a Derwent battery eraser. Now, uh, my mother-in-law, who is an, a fabulous artist, recommended this to me. I've not tried it before. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go on a, a comic book page. Now obviously, I draw my comic books in pencil first and then I ink over them. Uh, by the way, for the uninitiated, all the X's on the page, that indicates uh, a black area. Um, so eventually they'll get filled in and this will be a very dark picture. But what I need to do before I go and add that all that black ink is I just want to rub out all my pencil lines which often show through. So um, I'm going to try this. Oh, my first mistake. I need to get some batteries, um, and this takes, should probably tell me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so in the, for the battery eraser, it says, in the GB, it says, erases quickly, accurate and precise control. Eight long replacement erasers. This smart battery powered eraser is a handy tool for all artists as it erases quickly and precisely. The control button is positioned so it can be held like a pen, perfect for left and right handed use. It takes two AAA batteries. Bear with me. Okay, here's my two batteries. Let's uh, pop those in. That was a battery popping in noise. <laughs> it added sound effect. Okay, there, right. I'm looking like a. Where's the button? There's the button. All right, can you see that? Okay, so let's see how well this works. Yeah, it works. Oh, I, oh, I, I quite like it. I, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's, um, is is better necessary than um, just regular erasing by hand, but uh, it's nice. It does the trick. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. It, it is. I have to say, it probably is actually going slightly faster than if I was just to get. A regular race and do it by hand. Um, is it neater? Yeah, it's it's not lifting the uh, the black ink. My main concern actually was that I need a I need a, a relatively soft touch when I'm uh, erasing, removing pencil lines, shall we say, um, so that it doesn't remove the black lines in the ink that I put over the top. Uh, and this, so far, is uh, it's, it's not touched the ink, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I would give this product uh, yeah. Oh, blimey! So I have gone all the way through. <laughs> Hit. Okay. So here is the downside. I have gone all the way through that rubber down to the metal in just one panel. Yeah, that, that could be an issue. So doing this page would probably take me, hang on, one, two, three, you can't see this, it's off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine panels and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Nine of these mini erasers. Um, yeah, that's not going to work out for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> as um, as they say in Dragon's Den, sorry, but I'm out. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. But um, it's it's good. Maybe not, not for the amount of erasing that I do. Okay, yeah. 
on last inspection, I'd say this is a 7 out of 10. For this specific use, with comic, doing comic strips where I need to get rid of a lot of pencil marks, it's not useful. However, if I was to be drawing, say, a, a pencil shaded image, I can, I can see use for this. This would be very useful then. It just so happens that that's, that's not what I'm doing right now. Yeah, so final analysis, 7 out of 10, not useful for comic strips. Thanks for watching. Peace out.